Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new episode now, and it's episode 41. I'm Barry Finn. Thanks for joining that night here on this beautiful 20 degree Friday. And make the most of it, guys, because an approaching conference is about to hit Sydney again with rain coming throughout the weekend. Well, let's hope it stays away. Well, our new topic today we've done television, so we're, we're, we're done like a dinner with that. So let's talk about spring. Well, spring is a, a few, coming in a few weeks. So what do you do to get prepared for spring? Well, you get prepared for the garden. Work out what spring flowers are coming out and and what veggies you need to grow and and also work out where you're going to plant your spring vegetables and flowers and all of that and joining me in the studio now it's a very good morning in that welcome to episode 41 this day Good morning. Thank you, Barry. Thanks for having me. Good morning, every, everybody that's watching today. And it's a very exciting new chapter talking about spring, isn't it? Yes, it's a it is. Lovely time of the year. So, spring. We all love that and all the Dadman come out and the day started to get longer too. So, as August stands, the days will start to get longer and the weather will warm up. Now, what I've been told, ladies and gentlemen, and viewers alike out there, out there who watch the show, okay, it's gonna be a very hot summer, so, so are we gonna get much rain? Well, time will tell. But with spring, you can go on lovely picnics, uh, have picnics with your mates at the beach, uh, have a barbecue at home, which we'll talk about also on another episode, and also your favourite ice cream. So we've got a big spring bumper episode coming up but to take winter out well to take us out with the winter series we haven't had much of a winter at all but getting back to spring okay it's very important to look after your garden and make sure that you don't garden in the hottest part of the day because if you garden say like between the hours of 11 and 3 well it is too hot to garden in that in that time frame here's that now for this thanks barry yes important to do because if you garden in the hottest part of the part of the day it can lead to um, a little bit of fatigue, can't it? Too much heat, too much sunburn. And dehydration. And dehydration, that's right. So we will talk about that later on down the track on future episodes. So, speaking of weather up in Brisbane today, it is 27 degrees. I wish it was like that here, like that here, but we can't be greedy, we can't always get what we want. But the importance of spring gardening, okay, 
woke up on what is best to plan for spring, what flowers and what fruits, island season and vegetables. Here's that now. That's right. And if you don't have um, any gardening books, you can always Google it uh, and just type what what is the, the best fruits and vegetables and flowers for planting now um, for spring. So they, they will bloom in summer. So we will also talk about summer in a future episode. And it's not something we will talk about today because it's too early in the place. But just uh, um, just a reminder that um, the markets are still happening. The next one will be in September. So, so I will tell you about that uh, on the next show as well. So, also, I will be talking about safety at the beach as well on future episodes because, like I've said, it is much way too early to bring up beach and water safety um, in the middle of the winter series. Very important topic, but we'll talk about that later, won't we, Barry? Later on later down on. the track. <laughs> so, getting back to spring. Getting back to spring, guys. Okay. What is your favourite food for spring? Well, there is a spring lamb casserole, which you can look up the recipe for. Lots of healthy ideas for spring eating. Okay, in spring gardening, you name it, it's all there. So why waste time looking at books when you can easily get on your computer and look things up? You don't have to get frustrated. All you've got to do is type in a website on where your favorite um, what your uh, spring veggies and flowers are and when the, the best time is to grow them. Here's that now. Do you have a favourite spring vegetable or flower that you like, Barry? Uh, jasmine is mine. Jasmine. I like jasmine. It's such a lovely fragrance. Very nice. Jasmine and daffodils. So, oh, so we will also talk about um, ideas for the kids during the school holidays to next month on the spring series as well, which is coming up. So, ideas for the spring school holidays here in the net now. School holidays, are they coming up again, Barry? In the, at the end of September, end yes. Of September, right. When the weather will hopefully be, be nice and warm. But we have had crazy weather. We've had had a very mild winter. It's been, been quite warm. However, it's still throwing in some cold days here and there, which I think is important to also remember about spring coming up, Barry, is that people get allergies around springtime because of all the pollens in the air. Okay, and... Which you uh, said very well, that is very true, Natalie. Um, spring is the time for people getting allergies, so if you're allergic to pollen and jasmine and flowers and that, okay, always stay away from them. Okay, if you have really bad hay fever, guys, okay, because that is the time to, to get it, okay, go to your chemist or your doctor to 
have a chat with men about the best and best and keep up your fluids as well. So, so spring, it's a lovely time of the year, okay? And also, it's a lovely time for when to get out and enjoy the sunshine. But guys, remember to sleep, slap, slap, and if you, and don't sit out in the sun for too long either, because sunburn is very important. So I've got a lot to cover uh, during the, the next month's series, and it's called the spring series. So that will be on episode 42, no, 43, coming up very shortly. But on episode 42, uh, which is coming up uh, next Friday, we'll be talking about uh, safety in the car. And in the band as well and keeping them clean because I've just about covered everything for the winter series because I don't mean to bore you with the jibber jabber and repeat myself and feel like I pressed the repeat button button on a, on a CD player playing, saying the same thing over. So I'm going to cut more another shot now and, and tell you what I've been doing on my days off. So here's to another shot. Just wait. Can you wait? Don't yeah. start recording yet. I'm stopping it. Well, now on the show, I would like to talk about why I haven't been coming to St. Dives as much. Well, because one, because of the traveling, and two, my health. And I enjoy having two lovely days off at home to do what I need to do and to do the things I haven't had time to do uh, when I have been coming to St. Times. And having those two days up, guys, give me uh, time to relax, sleep in, not having to rush anywhere, and to eat good food. Uh, watch the latest YouTube videos which I'm uploading, playing a game, eating good lunches, going for walks up to the shop and around near the dog park, that sort of thing. And I really do enjoy that quality time. And it's lovely to have that time off. So, Matt, what do you do on your days off when you are not working? Well, that would be the weekend. What do I do? I try to catch up with some friends and family. Uh, I also like enjoy. I also enjoy going to the park, and I go to the same dog park as you, Barry, and walk my dog, which is very nice. And being in spring again, enjoying enjoying the lovely weather and doing all the unfun things like housework, but trying to get some well, relaxing time I, in there as well. Well, if I can just correct you, unfun is not, it doesn't make sense. Uh, housework is not fun to do. Sorry, you're right, Barry. That was not a correct word, was it? So, 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 I like to watch um, a good food on my days off 
I'm not having to rush anywhere and that gives me time to recover in time for the next show the next show and get prepared for that so so I have some news on the show as well about the show okay uh, at the end of this year I um, well I mentioned that I would like to do voiceovers on the show instead of just talking to the camera. Okay. Okay, so so I'm thinking of going out and doing documentaries on different places. Fantastic, Barry. I think you would be great at that because you have such good retention. Um, of, of history and, and different places and lots of knowledge about it. It would be very interesting and good to share with your audience. Because rather than do the show in the studio all the time, I'm thinking of taking the show out, getting it in the bus and going places. And would that also look like Barry, that you would interview people about certain places? Well, uh, not necessarily. Okay. Because some people don't like being on camera, so we must be very careful on that. Certainly. So, so we must be very careful about that, is what I should say. Now, Speaking of outdoors, you, if you've ever b driven to Akuna Bay or West Head, that's a good place to do a show. It's a wonderful place sitting up there. And if you've ever watched Skippy the Bush Kangaroo, that was filmed there. Was it, Barry, at Akuna Bay? No, in the Kalangai Chase National Park. Okay. So if you turn off Motor Vale Road to go towards Duffy's Forest, um, okay, Waratah Park used to be there. It is a beautiful spot. And a perfect way to do the show. Now, I may have done a show at Palm Beach. Uh, that was on episode 21 this year, where I talked about the series Home and Away, and that is filmed up there. So, so, so I am going to change the show up a bit try and get out a bit more so I can show you the different sides of Sydney, okay, and and all of that. What a wonderful idea, Barry. I think your viewers would be... So I will be talking to the boss about that. Okay. Well, I'd be more than happy to come along, Barry. So... You can show me sights of Sydney. So... And also, when spring comes along, we can go to the dog park and do the show there. Mm -hmm. And I can even show you where I used to live before that. And maybe a visit to Manly Beach along the promenade? Yep, we can do that. Yep. As long as it's good weather for for a boat. And up at the barracks, you've got a beautiful view up there over the harbour. Yep, so, 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 instead of just being in the studio all the time, I am thought of a great idea, okay, and that's going to start probably next month. Fabulous. The yeah. Out and About series with Barry Fear. Yeah, I did one in Brisbane 
and now I'm going to do one in, in Sydney. So, so, so we're not just going to do in the studio, we're going to be doing out and about as well. So, the show guides itself, okay, it is time to um, take the stale bits out and put some fresh bits in and talk about um, the beaches, more of the parks and more more sightseeing because I think if I cover the show here all the time it's going to be really boring for me and my outsider and to the viewers watching because it is time to undo the studio box and take the show out of the studio. Out and about and on the road. And he had not to tell you about it. I think that's a great plan, Barry. So there's just a few nuts and bolts, like you said, that we've got to unscrew and repack so we can get out on the road, work out a destination um, and figure out what what is there, what you'd like to talk about, perhaps the history of the, of the site that you'd like to go to and, and really jazz it up a bit for your viewers. And what about Bob and Head? Bob and Head is beautiful. Because we can always go there. We might have to make a list of different places that you'd like to visit. Maybe yeah. a walk across the Harbour Bridge while you're filming. Yep. Luna Park. Yep. Uh, the Opera House. Why don't we pause now and get a pen and paper and get a we'll, list happening? Yeah. Okay. We'll show it the sand. Okay. So. Thanks, Barry. We're gonna take a break now and and write a list of things. So stay with us. We got a bit sidetracked with today, doing today's episode. We started episode 41 talking about spring, but then, like usual, my brain just went, <laughs> went, went into automatic, uh, automatic and started with the brilliant ideas of where I could do the show in the future. Now I will let you know when that will be starting because like I've said, okay, it would be good to take the show out of the studio instead of having it in the studio all the time. Here's that now. Cheers, Barry. Uh yeah, look, I got a little bit sidetracked as well. We started the show on, on, and was speaking about spring, uh, and then our brains went spring, spring, sprung into new ideas of the out and about adventures with Barry Fear. Um, so we will let um, let your viewers know when that's going to happen. And let our manager know, <laughs> see yep. whether we can get this series happening because. Like with all TV shows, guys, you don't want to be doing them in the same spot all the time because it can get a little bit boring. So um, usually we would go and talk um, for an hour, but we're not going to today um, because, like, I think we've covered about just about everything on site and we will let you know uh, when the new series of um, my album about in Sydney will be starting because like I, we like to keep the show up vibe and interesting 
I okay. So make new viewers out there who watch the show on a regular basis, I okay, don't get bored of hearing the same thing. I want to be quite honest with you viewers, I okay, I totally agree with the same thing because I have a, a YouTube creator and a narrator, it is pretty important that I keep the show up by and interesting with some new content. It's like having some new food, drinking a different drink. Um, it's like when everything all is new again. So before the show does get too stale, guys, time to unscrew the old the nuts a bit and get some new ones so we can keep the show up by and interesting for you. Here's Nat to tell you about it. So we've got a few things to uh, to try and put into plan first, Barry, and that's and that's getting you know the okay, putting the ideas towards towards other people and uh, and seeing if that is a possibility that that can happen. Um, and we will let you know, like Barry said. Um, it won't happen overnight, guys, but it will happen. It won't happen in a... <laughs> because we have to have a chat with the manager here. We can't just get in the van and go willy-nilly because, you know, safety is important, guys, so we must take... And things take, take planning, don't they? And things take planning yeah. too, so, so do look forward to the upcoming changes to the show, and I'm certainly looking forward to bringing them to you. And on that note, guys, um, it is just about time to... Uh, wrap this short episode up. Okay, I us we usually do a long one, but not today. And the reason being, because we've covered just about everything. And look out, look out for the new series of my Out and About series. And I'll just leave them to you at recap them for you before we do our close today's show out in the belt with Barry and the idea is about changing the studio production into more of a documentary series of different sites of Sydney filming in different locations and sharing the around of the history of the different places. And the first of them is the Harbour Bridge, Luna Park, Bob and Head, the Coon and Bank, the Opera House, North End, Manly Gasworks, the Q Station, uh, Rapparoo's, Bear Island, Quincy Beach and the Rocks. So, there are 11 destinations to choose from for and for filming on this this pro program. So to close episode 41 today, Nat and I would just like to say a really big thank you for tuning in, and like always, the message that I close each show with, and that is emergency triple zero. This is a community uh, message that I always close the show with each time before I end close the show. Please don't be an absolute fool with triple zero because Triple Zero is for life-threatening 
and that's his design link. Don't be a fool with that number. Only ring them if you have an emergency. Here is Nat now for her closing message on this before we say farewell to you for this Friday. Thanks for that advice, Barry. Uh, yes, please don't be foolish, even though um, some people think it's funny to do uh, prank calls, but it's not. They are only for emergency situations um, and use that number wisely. And thanks for tuning in. Cheerio. Bye. And cheerio. Have a great weekend. And like always, if you like to comment on the show, uh, leave a comment below and tell us what you think, whether it's thumbs up, a medium, or, or down. Nothing is wrong with giving positive medium or negative feedback. I will not be offended by that. And if you don't like what, we're, what you're hearing on the show, uh, we can always adjust that or cut it out altogether because nothing is wrong with that. It is time for Natalie and I to bid you farewell now to get the next stage of this production happening and please do join us again uh, next Friday morning and we look forward to your company then but in the meantime uh, this is Barry there and Nat and we thank you so much for joining us on our 41st show this morning and, and when it comes up to 50 we are going to celebrate with, with the history of the show since I've come back. So from that and I now, you have a terrific weekend and we'll see you next Friday morning. So until then, as Don Burke used to say, Huru and Huru from Nat and I now. Have, have a good weekend. Bye-bye now. Super bad.